Hey y'all, you're a kid ball hatchery. These guys are acting like they need something. I think their food has gone down quite a bit. And they're having trouble getting to it. I'm gonna go see if there's any eggs. Ugh, and I guess it looks like they might need water. We got three eggs in here today. That's super fucking exciting. Okay, now we're gonna go and see the death layers and the chicks in there. Looks like they need something. Gonna give them some cracked corn too. I just got webbed right in the face. <laughs> what do they need? More water. All right, I'll fill their water up once um once I'm done with this video, I'll get it out and fill it up. Okay, we're going to move on to the Americana coop next. They could use some water too. Hey guys. <laughs> this is not for y'all. Look at that, look at them over there. They're getting jealous. They don't realize their turn's coming next. What y'all doing up there? Gotta go give some crack corn to the ladies up top. Hey, Crazy Sue, Big Barfa. Girl, what you looking like that for? Big Barfa's looking rough. This is starting to come in a little bit. I don't know about that. Let me check and see if there's an egg in here. Yes, we got one. Winning. Damn it. Now we're gonna head into the AM Samani Coop. Hey, Prince. So we should have uh, taken the broody hens out earlier when I got home from work and we didn't cause I'm a dum dum sometimes. So I'll probably take them out and put them on the ground near the food and water. This way they eat, hopefully, before they uh, run right back in the coop. I'm going to go ahead and get my handy-dandy propping stick. Hello, ladies. So, I've read a bunch of different things about these nasty-ass little bugs and... It says that they're really super duper hard to kill. So that kind of fucking sucks. But at least um, they go away in the cold months from my research. So I'm hoping 
that we can try to maybe get what we need to start killing them and then the cold months will come and then we can just seal the bitch so that we don't have to keep dealing with this. Um, because I'm sure that the hens don't particularly care for it. So I'm going to get them out. Y'all are getting way too skinny. Hey, Queenie. So we got two zombie eggs and one Bethel hen egg in here. That's super duper exciting. Let me go ahead and get my prop and stick and put it back where I got it from. Look, they're all eating. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. Figured if I put them down further away from the coop, the coop wouldn't be the first place they'd go. Got, 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 got. Now we'll go check on this leg horn and his hen. <clears throat> I think that they still have plenty of water and food. But I'm going to give them some cracked corn. Hey, Stonewall. Hey, buddy. You want some cracked corn? How about you, pretty honey? Hmm? I'm sorry. I don't see any eggs anywhere in here, so there's that. We're going to, of course, last but not least, go see Goliath and Orpy and Old Bird. Hey, guys. Back it up, buddy. Back it up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Old Bird. Y'all have not been eating your cracked corn. What's up with that? Orpy, come get some cracked corn. No egg? This is the first time in like a week that old bird has not laid an egg. That's pretty crazy. Hey, Orpy. Hey, girl. Is her comb starting to get a little bit more red? Maybe a touch? Every time I go where she is. Oh, uh, yeah, I think a little bit. She should be laying eggs any day now. Look at her. She's like, yeah, no thanks. All right, time to check out that fruiter. Yes. Now we're going to go into the shed. See all the shed birds. We, um... We had some quail in lockdown. We had five quail eggs. So far, four have hatched. Now, as y'all know, the missus is a pullet, technically still. So her eggs, some of them just don't um, develop. We know that they are fertile, um, but some just don't develop. I got another quail egg right here. Super exciting. And these are our freshly hatched quail babies. One, two, three, and four. Look at how little they are. And then we had to move the other quail and the Americana up top. Now I have no ladder, no ladder so I can't really get up there. 
But yup, yeah, there's the Americana and the Quail Rooster. They did not care for me picking them up, but that's okay. And then, of course, all these guys. Hey, little Fluffykins. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's it for Kidwell Hatchery today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, y'all.